Hey YouTube, how's it going? DJ Coward here, GoPro guy here. Today I am showing you the install photos from one of my most recent favorite customers. He keeps coming back for more stuff and every time he does, he always spends a hell of a lot of money, so that's good for us. Uh, so in our most recent install, we installed a Alpine PDX V9 5 channel amplifier, which does 100 watts continuous on each speaker channel and 500 watts on the subwoofer channel. Uh, we also installed some Focal three-way flex components, the PS165 F3s, and they sounded great. Uh, a set of our four-channel Monster Micro XLN RCA cables, which are the best ones we have, and obviously a new fuse holder and everything like that. Here's a picture of the door card. It's just got a mid-range and a tweeter pod in it, and then it has six-inch woofers down in the kick panels. There is a picture of the rear speakers where he currently has Alpine SPS 410s or Type S 4 inch speakers. He eventually let me put some 6x9 subwoofers in and afterwards he was so impressed with how they sounded and more importantly made him feel that he dropped in a box of spades triple hot pilsner for me, so very good there. Here's a photo of me halfway through the install of the amplifier and speakers. Already got them, the amp and crossovers mounted up on a board which is tucked away behind the carpet there. Here is the kick panel with the new 6.5 inch Focal Flex woofer in it. Stuffed the hole full of Dacron so that it gets a bit more bass out of it. Here is the mid-range with the Flex mid-range woofer in there. Bit hard to see but you can just make out a yellowy tinge. And there is the new Focal Inverted Dome Magnesium Aluminium uh, tweeter. Here's just a quick pic of my cynical co-worker Grant putting a door card back on. And there it is once they're all finished and got the car back together. All of these photos are available for viewing on our Facebook page. So if you just go to Facebook and then search Auto Sound and Security, and it'll be the one in Christchurch, New Zealand, you'll find all the um, photos from this install and from other installs we've done as well. And of course, when um, once it was all installed, I did a bit of time alignment with the built-in Alpine TuneIt app, and that worked a treat. Cheers for watching this video guys, subscribe to my channel and like this video for more videos just like this.